Today, we're going to have a look at this little baby, the CD74HC4067, 16-channel analog digital multiplexer, or MUX for short. What this little chip does is to take 16 inputs and turn them into one input. So if you have too few inputs on your Arduino, this is the thing to use. Your Arduino will use these four signals to select one of the 16 inputs to route to this input. One of my subscribers, Johan, has been building his own electronic xylophone, but he wanted to create one big five octave xylophone that ran off a single Arduino, rather than connecting five of my single octave xylophones together. Five octaves is 60 notes and therefore 60 inputs, and there isn't an Arduino board with 60 inputs, so using four or five muxes is the answer. As a test bed, I'm using an Arduino Uno. This is the mux with 12 inputs wired to it, and here's the single input created by the MUX. And here are the four signals from the Arduino that select which of the 12 inputs in this setup that are routed to the single input. Each of the xylophone note bars will have a piezo element glued to the underside. These are wired through a 1 mega ohm resistor. The positives from the piezo elements go to the MUX inputs. And the negatives simply go to the ground on the Arduino board. Tapping on a piezo element will generate a voltage that's sent through the MUX to the Arduino board. The bigger the tap, the bigger the voltage. Once power is applied to the Arduino board, it will run the code that's stored on it. The code in this board simply uses the four signals from the board to cycle through the inputs on the MUX to see if any of them are generating a voltage. When you run the sample code on your Arduino, you need to enable the serial monitor so that you can see the voltages generated by the piezo elements and any inputs received by the Arduino. Tapping on the elements generates a voltage. The bigger the tap, the bigger the voltage.